So right about now, you mm-hmm. are amazing. And the beautiful uh, lady in the house, right yes. about now, and I to Eve Atieli. Eve Atieli. Yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so Eve Atieli, Mambo VP. Yeah, salama. Kapisa. Um, Ziki na kupereka aje. Uh, How has been uh, the COVID-19 period for you? Uh, um, I'll say it's been... It's been a sad state of affairs, mm-hmm. but as for me, I think God has not changed, mm-hmm. and uh, God has been good throughout. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, if can you at least take us back from the beginning of your journey as a musician or as a gospel artist? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I started music way back uh, in 2012, mm-hmm. but at that point I just did one. Mm-hmm. I did Mungumku. Yes. Um, and then God came and told me, uh, no, not now. Uh-huh. Go back to school first. That's the plan. Yeah. So for me as a human being, I knew I had music. I wanted to do music. Yes. So I thought it's 2012, but then God was like, uh, that's not the plan. Uh-huh. So I stopped. Yeah. So I went back to school. Yes. So I went back to school in 2013, did my undergrad and then did my postgrad and then all of them compi- combined I uh, ended um I finished in 2019. Yes. So last year in June, mm-hmm. that's when God came back and told me now it's the time. And yeah. You can pick up music. So and what inspired the Mungumku song? Um because that was the first yes. song you did, yes. yeah, and it it seems like it was so inspiring. Yeah. So can you tell us more about it? Um, basically, uh, I was going through a very rough time. Yeah, it was. I think it was really hard for me. Life yeah. was like you know, mm-hmm. I didn't understand. Uh, so I, w- I went. F- I went to a place of prayer. Uh, I went to the mountain, we call it the mountain, the spiritual land. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to the Mount of Akomba. Yeah. I went there for like two weeks just to pray and ask God Kunendaji. Yeah. See a lady story. Mm-hmm. Um, so one day, one night I was just praying and mm-hmm. I was lying down and I had like God started to sing. Mm-hmm. You know, you know where the scripture said that he he sing over you? Yeah. The joyful song. Yeah. The song. So I just felt like someone was singing and I was like, oh yeah, God wimba. You know, <laughs> and it was like me, me, ni mungumku. Yeah. Mi, mi, ni mungumku. So I changed it. Yeah. And I started to sing. I started to sing wewe ni mungumku. Yeah. So from me to him. From the so point. So all of the sadness, the pain that was just happening, the, the entire anguish disappeared. Yes. Um, so I started to sing yeah. and then I wrote it down. And there's a verse that's cropped up in my spirit, Ezekiel, mm-hmm. where, go, where God is talking to the Israelites and he's telling them when you were born, you did not have clothes on. Yeah. And all that. And that was exactly what was going through. Yeah. Like there was no one was showing me pity. It was like I had been thrown away in a rubbish, in a rubbish pit somewhere yeah. to be left there. Mm-hmm. Like nobody looked at me and showed me pity and was like, this is exactly me. You know, yes. So I incorporated it in that song. Wow. So, yeah. so from that point, did didn't you have the families or friends who are around you who could have helped at that situation? Wow. Let's just say there are moments that come into your life. Uh-huh. Nobody will come to your rescue. Yeah. No one. Like if you've not gone through it, uh-huh. it's coming, uh-huh. right? Yes. When I think it's a time where God just separates you for Himself. You know, there's a place in the Scripture where He says, "I will take Israel to the wilderness." Yes. Yeah. yeah. That means it's just me mm-hmm. and them, the two of us. No yeah. one can save you from that situation. Mm-hmm. You know, someone can save you from the devil, yes. but no one can save you from God. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you know? So. That's true. Um, uh, there's no, I had family, but mm-hmm. at that time, I think I had been like three years. I had no, I don't seen anyone in my family. Friends were uko, you know, mm-hmm. and it was just me and God, but it was so hard. I think you look at me figure at the hitting point of the furnace. Yeah. And I was like, God, you know what? I just want to die. You know, just, I say story. Yeah. You know, and that's when he came through. Wow, yeah. wow. No, my son. No, my son. The place of the happenings. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to say to my graduate. Undergraduate. Postgraduate. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> See, 
kusoma kidogo kizungu na e, nini kidogo lakini at least i'm learning at mm. least eh? yeah yeah uh, mm-hmm. eva what is that uh, one thing that fana say kufanyia uko na like wewe wenyewe amekam sana amekam sana ki negatively ama ki positive yani ki negatively both negative and positive mm. uh, pos- positively i think i've gotten a lot of encouragement from yeah. from people mm-hmm. like uh, they'll text you people will call you people you don't even know and just tell you you've blessed me mm-hmm. and more so when this this one lady who told me when he first had when she first had nura she was yeah. sick mm-hmm. and so there's a place i say there is no more pain no more sickness and all that yeah. you know and she said when she reached that point mm-hmm. she felt something leave her body wow. and she stood up from her bed yeah. Yeah. and she began to cry Actually, when she was talking to me she was crying mm-hmm. she didn't actually know it's me mm-hmm. but she told me she just told me there's this song and the voice looks uh, sounds like you yeah uh because she couldn't see mm-hmm. you know she was sick she couldn't see she couldn't wake up and all of a sudden she it's something broke off her mm-hmm. and she said the woman who sang the song yeah it was meant for me so for me i think it brought me to my knees wow. i was like god if just one person stood up from the bed yeah that's, that's all i want to hear oh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so for me that was the highest moment mm-hmm. wow 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 yeah, and what makes you like different from other ministers Um basically I'll say everyone has their own calling. Yeah. You know, we might be musician but every musician has their own calling which I really appreciate and really respect because we can't all do the same thing. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. And so for me I'll say what makes me stand and uh, what makes me different is just my calling is different from any other passion. Oh, you know. Wow, we wow. can all be in ministry in, in music mm-hmm. but everyone has their own niche where God has blessed for them. Yes. Yeah. So talking about your song na songa when you're writing about this na songa why you an, in a constant situation or a limited situation so that and then God came to you or what inspired what really came through in your mind when you're writing this song na songa I, um when I was writing that song na songa also I was in a place yeah you know yeah, I yeah. had just I had just written Mungu mkuu mm-hmm. and it's like I was just coming out from the furnace but yeah. makali ilikuwa bado iko yeah nilikuwa bado nimetoka sijatoka mungu yeah. ananienjoy you know when you've gone you've been through hell for a long time <laughs> yeah you know? you're contemplating yeah so you're like is god playing a trick on me or something like that mm-hmm. so um That's when I sat down it was I actually remember it was morning around 4 4 a.m. in the morning. Yes. And I was just praying. Mm-hmm. And I told myself, you know what, Eva, no mm-hmm. matter what happens, yeah, you will keep pressing on. And then I remember my grandmother mm-hmm. when I was in primary, my grandmother used to sing that song in in our mother tongue. Yes. But now I didn't know the mother tongue very well. Yeah. So me I interpreted it in Swahili. Yes. And I was like this song is speaking to me so much I'll keep moving on. So let me record it mm-hmm. for me. Just yes. for me. Yeah. I'll put it on YouTube at some point but for me for you. to remind me even when I'm old and gray yes. that I'll keep pressing on wow. no matter what. Yeah. The man I love no jewel. Before you come you normally make like a few research here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh kuna nini nyingine unasema let's look on, on the yes. uh, statistics of love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So are you like seeing someone ama are you married? I am not married. Eh uh-huh. yes. So yeah. she still Yeah, DM DM. I DM. Yeah. Was, po DM. Mm-hmm. I saw your post about the ministry in the prisons. So as mean um, as a minister of God. Mm-hmm. You are ministering through song, through being a philanthropic. How is that coming up? Um I love giving. Yeah. You know? Yes. And it's it's just informed by where I've been in life. Yes. You know? when nobody was there for me so yeah. i made one vow to mm-hmm. god yeah. i told god if you bless me mm-hmm. no matter how little yes i will always be there for people yes for people. so um i've done it uh, like every time i want to do a recording yeah i always do ministry behind the scenes okay. you know like i go to the prison yes um i look for money buy them stuff and yeah. just go to just celebrate god with them you know because sometimes you are the only 
closest Jesus someone will ever see. Yes. You know, just yes, representing true. the kingdom. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes I do the children home, children's home. We go there, buy them stuff, spend mm-hmm. a day with them, have fun and all that. Mm-hmm. So I've made it my duty, like before I do any major event, yeah. I have to do this other ministry of just giving. Yes. yes. So and the, apart from like music and uh, charity, what else like uh, do you do? Um, I'm a pastor mm-hmm. of a church. Yeah. Um, and then I am a part-time lecturer. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yes. So talking about Nira, I want to know what Nira is all about because this is your um, the latest song sure. and it's on fire. It's on fire and it's hit, you know. So can you just tell us what Nira is all about? Right, Nira is all about yokes. Uh, it's a song I wrote last year. Yeah. Um, and at least I was not now in the furnace, that was a better place. Yeah. <laughs> and then I remember I was praying in the morning, and mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit told me, Eva, have you yeah. recognized the yokes have been broken yeah. in your life? Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. The yokes are broken. Mm-hmm. And. Um, Colossians chapter 2.14, in the middle of the prayer, yeah. uh, the Holy Spirit just told me, just just read Colossians chapter 2.14. Yeah. And it's like Jesus broke the codes and he made a public spectacle. Yes. He canceled every written argument that yeah. was written against us. Mm-hmm. And something lit in my spirit and I started to, like, life in, in I started to reflect or yeah. retrospect. Mm-hmm. Like, what I have gone through mm-hmm. and the yokes that were holding me down. I was born again. Yeah. So I remember and, and, and I started having a conversation with the Holy Spirit. How many people are born again but yeah. they are bound in yokes? Yes. You know? Yes. You, true. And for example, let's just give a light example. For example, you might be born again, you speak in tongues, you are on fire, but you realize your family is just there's just divorce everywhere. Yeah. Maybe your grandmother divorced, your mother divorced, your sister divorced, yes. you're also getting yes. married and you're on fire but you still end up divorced yeah you know you mm-hmm. realize those are yokes yes if you're not careful because sometimes you are ignorant and mm-hmm. you're like christ paid for it all but we remember you don't remember the bible also says work out your salvation exactly you know mm-hmm. and and sanctification is also a process yeah okay? yeah, yeah. yeah. And so i i wanted just to speak i wanted just to make a declaration yeah and to bring people to an awareness through my life story and what the scripture says Mm -hmm. like there are yokes that you need to really literally break yeah sickness like for example people have perpetual sickness yes Mm -hmm. your cousin you know the way you go to hospital and they say did your uncle have cancer yeah Yeah. did your sister those are yokes exactly yeah you need to stand up and pray Mm -hmm. yeah yeah so talking about yokes you know the 21st century person the young Christian in Christ who what will you tell them about the yokes you know m- most of us will say that Jesus died the way you've said Jesus died for it all Jesus took it for it all but the work the to, the, the the work that they put in place is very little so what can you just as a pastor you've said you're a pastor you're a minister so as a pastor what what do you think that we ca- we should do as the 21st century generation to at least work on our spiritual lives with jesus christ you know the bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge yes right mm-hmm. that is where the whole thing is yeah because one of the things i've realized our generation mm-hmm. we are very we are the blessed generation yeah because we have the word everywhere and if you look at the scripture, it talked about such a time, yeah. you know, when mm-hmm. the law is everywhere to be to be read. Yeah. And so there is so much knowledge out there, but you need to be specific. What kind of knowledge am I looking for? Mm-hmm. You get? Because not everything is on Uncle Google. Yeah. You yeah. Get? True. And so for my generation, I'll say, you see, when when I talk about Nira in my generation, I say, read the scripture, but yes. don't take one scripture and run with it. Thank because you. scripture interprets scripture. Yes. And someone says, for you to come up with a doctrine, mm-hmm. at least three scriptures must be supporting what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Not one. Not one. When you run with one scripture, yeah. you are at the you are in danger of being a heretical minister. Yeah. Or a minister who is full of error. Yeah. Because umechukwaka scripture ka kimbia nako. Yes. Uju your scripture more than in interpret you on a scripture in Guinea and a scripture in Guinea. Yeah. For you to come out and now say, mm-hmm. this is what the word says. 
you get yeah so for my generation i'll say everyone this all of us i'll say we, mm-hmm. we have mirrors that bind us yeah you know mm-hmm. you may not know it yeah. but you realize you're just struggling and struggling you're struggling and you look back mm-hmm. and that's why i said wisdom you yeah. have to sit down and look back did my mother struggle with the same thing yeah yeah mm-hmm. is anybody about around me going about the same thing yeah. what is happening now you rise up with that knowledge mm-hmm. and attack you yeah. don't attack what you don't know yes. and you can just look at the armed forces for example kuchizi movies the us one end kwa war they sit down and strategize yeah the problem with us christians want mm-hmm. to read a scripture and run you don't want to sit and meditate yeah. strategize how do mm-hmm. i offend the enemy yeah. or attack or defend myself yes. because if you attack what you know yeah. it will bow down to you yeah. but if you attack aimlessly paul mm-hmm. says i don't want to hit aimlessly yeah. i want to hit a target how do i know this is a target i sit down and look back get knowledge about this thing mm-hmm. and then i strategize how i'm going to attack the enemy yes yes, yes. and also i guess uh, in this generation is only that most people don't have like spiritual fathers that can guide them and can lead them to the yeah, rightful purposes right. because the moment you have like a spiritual mother or father or brother that leads you or guides you to the perfection i think uh, you never lack a lot of things in life yes. and your life will always be perfect because as a minister you need a spiritual uh, covering yeah. so whenever you are going to yeah. minister somewhere in a podium because Uh, a gift is just like a candle yeah. so there is a podium that you can stand on or a stage that you can stand on mm. that can turn off the light yes but when you have the spiritual covering right coming to you mm. uh, whatever place that you are, you are the man of god knows that uh, you are there you are ministering he is always praying for you and the sp- his spirit is with you right there yeah. just like uh, gehazi and elijah mm-hmm. uh, gehazi had gone but the spirit of elijah was with him So he like uh, he was doing the transactions but right beside him the man of God was right there but he could not see him. So sometimes I, I believe it's only that uh, this, this generation if we really knew the importance of having a spiritual father or a spiritual covering like in our lives even the artists those have gone to secular world they have not gone there why because there's a person guiding them. There is a person that they are always answerable to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh huh, I want us to go for a short musical break to the mm-hmm. namsana mingine but before to end eh mm-hmm. uh, nataka Eva to be mm-hmm. like msana uh, mgani unaweza feel kufanya naye kazi all over the world mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. wow simple tasha cops wow tasha cops yes wow amazing mm-hmm. and uh, right now given an opportunity to work with a producer a musical producer producer mgani like unaweza feel vibe yake una feel wewe nikifanya naye kazi na una utukufu wa bwana wow <laughs> that's a hard question <laughs> i haven't done my research about that mm-hmm. so if if you allow me to pass <laughs> okay you are allowed to pass, you are allowed to pass that thank you yes. so what is that one great thing that you want to you want uh, your life you want your music to minister to people even years and mm-hmm. decades after you have gone you are never you are never you are nowhere to be seen my design my prayer so much has been um i just want the world to know you know we are at a place right now where i think we are the world is too arrogant and too proud mm. and we've forgotten that there is a god up in heaven yeah. mm. so my design my prayer to god has been to allow me to be that vessel that um will minister to nations and remind them there is still a god up there yeah, yeah? Mm. and above it all um like paul that has been one of my prayer that i don't want just to sing mere words mm-hmm. you know yeah. we do not come to you with mere words yeah. right but with the manifestation of power yeah. Yeah. so my prayer is to manifest that power like this woman who said she woke up from literally woke up from bed yeah. mm-hmm. i want it to be not one woman I want like when the music is played on air mm-hmm. sickness are living people yeah. the dead can even resurrect because yeah. the yeah. same same holy ghost of acts yeah. is still with us today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. so that's my prayer and my desire and I believe it's going to happen Amen. Yeah. So I want us I want you to give us like your social media handles mm-hmm. and I want you to give uh, these people like a message from you and what they should expect from you because I believe like soon baro takuita hapa tukuje tukae nae hapa because mm. like you have like Come a lot on. of stuff minister of god yeah. i need you in my show by the way <laughs> i'm requesting you on this i need you in my show 
Yeah, because like there are a lot of things that what what one like yeah. yeah, that are just yeah. yeah, so uh I want you to give us like uh, your social media handles, where can people find you, how can mm. we book you? Yeah. And also I want you to give these people the last words like advice to Zapati Awase, it's a Kobale home, it's a near concern, is a pastor giving up, is a minister and a and a ministry and a focus mm. on the just that. Well, my social media handles to begin with. Uh, Eva Atieli, mm-hmm. right? E V A A T I E L I. That's my name. Mm-hmm. On my, you can follow me on my Facebook page. Yeah. yeah. Just don't send me a friend request on my timeline. Mm-hmm. Follow me on my Facebook page. Uh, follow me on Insta, mm-hmm. on Twitter, mm-hmm. and on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's one name all across. Eva Atieli. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and for my last parting shot is one one thing that I know. I know it's gonna sound like a cliche, but it's true. Yeah. God loves you. Mm-hmm. He loves you so much that if he has not given up on you, do not give up on yourself. We uh, most of us have been to in, uh, in we have been there in the place of wanting to quit or just telling God, see you shoot to nikufe. Understand? Yeah. <laughs> but we still came back, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And so I believe that there are seasons for everything and whatever you're going through is just a season. Yeah. A new page will turn up. Yeah. So hold on, keep praying, we love you. You can call out on us to walk with you, to pray with you until that season is over. And then you enter the season of manifesting what God um, put in you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I and already maze kama ni bona cheki and sema ko single. But <laughs> but ukitaka kushinda ku, 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 DM enda pale YouTube subscribe 